Welcome everyone. It's time for the monthly blooms video. In this episode, you'll see mostly my African violet standards and a couple of semi miniature trailers. And in the second part, I'll show the miniatures and semi miniatures that are blooming this month and also will take a peek at what's happening in my bubble garden. Let's get started. Far back here is Rob's Gundaroo. It's a semi-miniature trailer variety with plain green leaves and lavender blue semi-double blooms that also have some white and green in them. This variety is a prolific bloomer. Here is Optimara Romance from Victorian Charm series. This is the series of Optimara Violets that has variegated foliage. And I love this variety for the pink variegation that matches the color of the blooms. And the blooms are single and semi-double pink pansies. Here is a standard trailer variety called Ellie Gardner by Harris. I featured it in the recent African Violet Suckers video because it looks almost like a single crown variety. It's a young plant that I received from Fancy Bloomers earlier this year and so right now it has the main crown and very little baby size secondary crowns peeking out there and i like the vivid pink double blooms on this variety this is a standard variety Called Peppermint Marshmallow by Lampier and Linden Lime Greenhouses. This is a very young plant, so it just started blooming, and I mostly wanted to show you that the blooms really look like marshmallows with some pink and white on them. It's a very interesting pattern on the blooms. This is Funambule, a standard variety by Robitail and Croto with variegated leaves and blue blooms with white and pink fantasy. The fantasy is very pronounced on this particular specimen and I got it from Fancy Bloomers as well, so I'm very thankful for this particular strain of this variety. Here is a young plant of Rose Bouquet by G.T. Smith. It has its own review on my channel, the mother of this plant, so if you'd like to check it out in full bloom, I'll include a link to that video. Here is another standard by Linden Lion Greenhouses. It was produced by Paul Serrano and it's called Raspberry Rain. It has variegated leaves and dark pink blooms with some fantasy. And so mine, I think, is a sport because most of the blooms have this color. It's almost like burgundy color rather than dark pink, but there is some dark pink here. It's a beautiful striking hybrid. Next to it is another Linden Lion variety called 
Lion's Black Magic. It was produced by Sydney Serrano and it has variegated leaves and dark, very deep purple blooms with some pink fantasy on them. And this is a young plant, so the fantasy is not very pronounced yet, but I hope it will be in the next blooming cycle. Here is a Russian hybrid called Zolushkin Son that translates to Cinderella's Dream by Deikun. It has dropper flowers, but I don't mind that they're droppers because the pattern on the blooms is very unique. It has um, beautiful wild strawberry mesh or fuchsia colored mesh pattern on the petals and the petals are ruffled. Here is a semi-miniature trailer that is very unique and it, I think it's one of a kind because everybody will recognize it right away. It's called Lituanica. It was produced by Fatina Butene. She is an African violet hybridizer from Vilnius, Lithuania. And this trailer is known by the shape and the color of its blooms that are very full, pale pink with some dark pink tips. And in my growing conditions, it grows more like a standard size trailer because right now this young plant has reached 12 inches across. Next to it is a standard hybrid called Ancient Lace by J. Munk. It has beautiful ruffled dark green leaves and pale pink, frilled, semi-double and double pansies, and some of them are single, as we can see here, with ruffled green edge. This is a prolific bloomer. Here is Cajun's Fascinating Fury by Belinda Thibodeau. This is a standard variety with variegated leaves and dark purple blooms with some fantasy. This is the first blooming cycle and so the fantasy is almost close to none, I would say. There are little specks here and there. Let's see the other blooms. Yeah, not much fantasy really for the first blooming cycle. So I do hope that it will be more pronounced in the second blooming cycle. And what's interesting about this plant is that we can compare it to the mother plant, Funambule. This variety was a seed parent to Cajun's Fascinating Fury, and look at how much fantasy the mother plant has. And this is also the first blooming cycle, and it's pronounced right away. Uh, so it would be interesting to observe, and I'll keep updating you guys on how the fantasy shows in the second blooming cycle on this variety as it matures. I learned about the ancestry of this hybrid, Cajun's Fascinating Fury, from the online Senpolia Ancestry Project. I'll include a link to the Senpolia Ancestry Project under this video. So I learned that the mother or the seed parent was Funambule and the father or the pollen parent was Buckeye Cranberry Sparkler and I don't have 
um, the Buckeye in my collection. So I'm very tempted to get that one as well. I'm just running totally out of space right now, as you can imagine. But that's just a side note. Here is a standard variety called Raspberry Crisp by Cox and Johnson. And I recently reviewed it on my channel, so it's finishing its first blooming cycle at the moment. I love the darker ruffled edge and the shape of the petals on this variety in combination with the dark green leaves. Here is Lion's Sassy Sadie by Paul Serrano and Linden Lion Greenhouses. I like the two-tone colors on this hybrid and also I like the, the pattern on the petals. It almost looks like velvet. Here is a wasp variety by Jim Dates called Blue Tail Fly. It's heavily bustled variety with bustle back leaves. And the bustles are those um, parts of the leaf that curl backwards on the bottom of each leaf. It's very unique. Here is a Russian hybrid by Yevgeny Arhipov called AE It's Raining. It has medium green plain leaves and the blooms have lavender and some purple specks fantasy on them and it has much more white color in cooler growing temperatures so in the winter spring springtime it will have more white and finally here is wranglers variety called wranglers high sierras it has beautiful variegated foliage and the leaves are kind of bluish green and they look beautiful together with the lavender double blooms with some darker tips on the external petals. So these are all of my African violet varieties that are standards and semi-miniature trailers that are blooming right now. And in the next episode, I will show you the miniatures and semi-miniatures in bloom this month. Stay tuned.